Hi, I'm Kate Hahn with TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider, and we are speaking with the cast of Dear Edward. What are you doing? Drinking champagne by myself out of a juice glass. I lost my husband, I lost my best friend. But he had another life, so I don't know how to piece it all together. Um, Connie Britton, this reunites you with Jason Kadams, who you worked with on Friday Night Lights, and we loved you as coach's wife, Tammy Taylor. Does your character, Dee Dee, on this show have anything in common with Tammy? Oh, that's an interesting question. Um, well, they're both women. Uh, they actually, I mean, uh, upon first glance, I would not say that they have a great deal in common with each other. However, if you look a little more closely, both women come from sort of, um, you know, uh, relatively uh, unprivileged backgrounds and kind of worked their way, you know, small town kind of worked their way up um, it, it, it sort of it, it, alongside the man in their life. And so I think that is a common uh, commonality between the two characters. Um, and then the journey is very different for both. So, um, and, the, and also I would say generally their perspectives on life are pretty different, even though they come from kind of, both come from humble beginnings. Mm -hmm. They uh, grow into different people and therefore their journeys are very different. Mm -hmm. Right, well Dee Dee is a bit of a princess and she's kind of proud of that. She likes mm -hmm. that life. Um, but, you know, we know in this series she loses her husband. So how does grief affect her? Well, grief really breaks Dee Dee open. And um, it, it breaks her open to have to see herself in a different way, but also have to realize things about her own life that she just wasn't allowing herself to recognize. Um, so in a way, for Dee Dee, grief actually brings her closer to the truth, even though it's very painful for her. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, these two women are both in a, a survivor's group. They meet in a yeah. grief survivor's group for their relatives who were killed in this plane crash. Mm -hmm. And Anna, your character, Adriana, would you say it's a similar experience for her that grief cracks her open? Tell us who she loses and, mm -hmm. and what she's dealing with when we meet her. Yeah, so she loses her grandmother, and right before her grandmother passes, she lets her know that she wants her to take her seat when she's done. And Adriana scoffs at the notion of that and says, absolutely not, I hate politics, I would never want to do that, no thank you. And then her grandmother is gone and she's faced with the reality of having to carry on this legacy that her grandmother left for her, but also what kind of mark does she want to make in the world? And I think there's something so interesting about grief because when you lose everything and you're at that rock bottom you get really brave and you just sort of grow a pair and you ask yourself well there's not much that I can lose at this point so why not just go do the thing that I think I was born to do so she kind of blossoms through this grief and she emerges as she was supposed to because of this great loss well that's something that I think it's important to note about this show yeah. is that yes it is about loss but it's also about hope and how people change. So there's mm -hmm. some buoyancy and lightness to it and, and even humor, even though yeah. these people are dealing with tragedy. So um, Connie, can you talk about that? What, what are some of the, the more hopeful things that happen with Dee Dee because mm -hmm. of this? Well, for me, it was really important to maintain that sense of levity and um, even joy and certainly humor, particularly for this show because um, because I, I think that's, that's such an important part of life and us particularly in grief, we need humor and all of my personal yes. experiences with grief, when I think about the, the darkest moments of my experience with grief, there, it's always the humor that I remember. It's the people wow. that came into my life and reminded me that there is light and reminded me that we can laugh mm -hmm. and we must laugh. And so it was really important to me in playing Dee Dee to make sure that I kind of straddled that, um, that those, those elements with her, you know, um, because that's real life. Right, yeah. right. 
Well, Anna, what about Adriana? What are some of the, the lighter things? I mean, she does have, she does meet someone, yeah. which is interesting. She does. She gets to, she gets to fall in love, which is a real dose of medicine, I think. Um, but it also goes to show that when you lose something, there's now room for something else to come and fill it. And while she's not quite sure where things are going to go with Kojo, he serves a really instrumental role in letting her know that she can do it. He's one of her biggest supporters. He looks her in the eyes and says, I think you can run, and I think you should. And no one else is really saying that to her, at least no one else who's alive. Um, so it's a little tricky for her because, you know, when you lose someone, you have a bit of guilt in just stepping into bliss and experiencing joy. Do I deserve this? Shouldn't I be in mourning? Shouldn't I be wearing black right now? Um, but he kind of invites her into a different sort of grieving process. Um, that's full of love because we still deserve it. Well, Connie, can you talk about Dee Dee's relationship with her daughter? That's a crucial part of it as well. Well, I, I, I love that relationship because, you know, her daughter is kind of the um, byproduct of the way that Dee Dee has lived her life. And she is in some ways, you know, sort of trying to separate herself from her mother and and also feels a part of her. Um, but I think ultimately, and what I, one thing that I really loved about that relationship is Dee Dee gets so much from her daughter and she actually helps her through the grief. And um, there's so much pain there between them as they sort of make this discovery about their lives and yet, um, it just deepens their relationship and actually you know when you get to when you get to the truth of who you really are that that's going to connect them more and so um it's it, it leaves them in an exciting place well great well well connie and anna thank you so much for speaking to me about dear edward uh dear edward premieres on february 3rd february 3rd on apple tv plus Ha, 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 ha.